Hello everyone, welcome to my tutorial on how to unwrap the UVs of a cylinder in Maya. Start off by creating your cylinder, and then we're going to want to add a checkered material to this, that way we can see what we're doing in our UVs a lot easier. So hold down right click, go to assign new material, and then go to blend, and then go to file right here, and click on checker. That way we can see um, what we're trying to do here a lot easier. So as you see, we got this long thing, we got this thing which isn't even in a straight line and you know nothing's really uniform here and what we're trying to do is make all of these squares exactly the same size that way um, everything is uniform and we can put this into Photoshop after it's been unfolded and you know draw smiley faces and everything like that so the first step is to select your cylinder in object mode and go up here to uh, cylindrical projection and just click on this and you can kinda see everything gets messed up but you can see it's starting to get a little better and you got this thing around it. All right, so go back into object mode and go up here to your UV editor and kind of put this in the corner and maybe zoom in on it a little better. And there's that. So this right here is called our UV shell and it's basically this entire thing. And what we're gonna try and do is separate the top and bottom and middle into three separate shells. So the first step to doing that is to selecting your edges and a trick to um, selecting all of these edges instead of one by one going at it is to select the first one, hold down shift, and then double click on the next one. That way all of these are selected and nothing else. Go into your UV editor here on the right, kind of zoom in and then hold down right click, go to cut slash sew, and then go to cut. And now you can kind of see we have um, a different shell up here compared to this entire shell down here. So that's a start. Now we want to do the exact same thing on the bottom. So select one, hold down shift, double click on the next one, and we got all of those selected. Go over to your UV editor again, hold down right click, cut slash sew, cut. And now we have our three shells. But we're not done yet. What else we're going to want to do is we're going to want to select the faces. So select every single face on this top right here and then press 4 on your keyboard that way you can make sure that you haven't selected anything else this is wireframe mode because if we have this face for example selected it will mess up our uniformity and make everything kind of bad so press 6 to go back and then what you're going to want to do is you want to go up to UV up here and then go down to planner and click on this box right here and then for your settings, you're going to want to make your settings exactly this. You want to be on best plane on the z-axis and you want to make sure this is important. Keep image width slash height ratio and you don't want to have this checked. So then click on project and now you can see we have um, not this kind of straight looking line. We have one of these. So press W and kind of just move that over there. You can kind of see it's starting to get a lot better. We don't have any of those jagged-ish kind of lines. All right. So we got to do the same thing for the bottom, so select all of these faces, one by one, and then make sure that we only have those selected. Go up to UV, Planner, and make sure you have these settings, and just click on Project. Now we can move this over here, and press 6 as well, and you can see everything's starting to look a lot better, but this one's still kind of messed up. So what you want to do is you want to click on UV, or actually you want to select these faces. So just go into your side mode by pressing spacebar, and just drag across and select only those. If we press 4, you can see that we don't have these top faces selected, we only have the middle ones, which is what we want. So press spacebar to go back into your perspective view, and go up to, I believe, UV, and actually we're going to go into our UV editor right here and go to modify and click on unfold and click on this little guy right here make sure you're in a legacy and you want to have your maximum iterations up to 10,000 and your stopping threshold at 0 0.001 it doesn't really matter that much but just make sure that you have this on horizontal that's one of the most important parts and you also do not want this to be checked uh, pin UV border because it will ruin what we've been working on so do apply and close and you can kind of see we have uh, a little bit unfolded a bit more and everything's kind of looking better. So go back into your perspective, press six, that way you can kind of see everything. Uh, make sure you select it, of course, and have everything selected. Go to, actually, why don't we turn on our checkers as well? Go to modify, 
and then go to layout you can kind of see everything has been laid out um, and these squares are exactly the same size to each other and we can start exporting this UV snapshot and drawing all over it and knowing that we don't have any more of those non-straight lines and everything is exactly uniform. So that is how you UV unwrap a cylinder and thank you for watching and please subscribe.